Hey, welcome to Storytime with Gigi. Today, we're going to be reading a Disney story from Encanto entitled Antonio's Amazing Gift. The story was written by Nabi Reynoso, illustrated by Juliet Oberndorfer. I hope I said those names correctly. Antonio Madrigal lived in a magical house called Casita. It was a big day at Casita. It was Antonio's fifth birthday. It was also his gift day. The Madrigals each had a special gift and a magical bedroom to match. His cousin Luisa had super strength. His big sister, Dolores, could hear a pin drop from a mile away. His oldest cousin, Isabella, grew flowers with every step. Antonio's family gathered around his new bedroom door and waited to see what his gift would be. As Antonio touched the doorknob, a friendly-looking toucan appeared on his arm. Yes, I understand you. Of course they can come, said Antonio. It was his gift. He was able to talk with animals. Abuela Alma hugged Antonio tight. I knew you could do it. His new room was an endless rainforest. There was so much to see. The animals took turns showing him around. First, he watched as the codis went running and swinging through the trees. Then the macaws joined him high in the air for a bird's eye view of his room below. He even joined the chiguros for a snack. I hope I said that right. Copy that right. The once shy little boy was finally coming out of his shell. He loved hanging around with his new friends. Eee, the snake. And his new friends loved hanging around with Antonio. It was his best birthday ever. Soon Antonio's family brought the rest of the birthday celebration to his room. The Madrigals looked around with their eyes wide in wonder. It was a room like no other in Casita. Luisa brought the biggest plate of cocadas Antonio had ever seen. We can help you with that, he said. His Aunt Julieta had cooked arepas. The macaws helped themselves. The entire family danced and celebrated Antonio's gift. With all the fun he was having, Antonio had lost track of the time. It's almost bedtime, said Antonio's mom. Antonio let out a big yawn. Soon all the animals were yawning too. Good night. Buenas noches, said Antonio, falling asleep in his new room, surrounded by new friends.
And that's our story. I hope you liked it. Make sure that you like and subscribe and share with your friends. Bye until next time.